Okay, that, that's kind of annoying. Dun, 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 anyway. Dun, dun, oh, wait, right. Wrong music. <laughs> You're doing the Imperial March. We're like a couple thousand years before that because we're in the Old Republic era. Anyway, this is episode two of Star Wars D&D. And as you can see, we changed up the overlay. I actually like this a lot better. A lot better. And anyway, we ended off last session with uh, our band of crash victims, I guess we could call them at this point in time, as they're not exactly mercen- they're not really anything. They're not mercenaries, they're not like all force sensitives, they're not Jedi or Sith. They're, they don't really have any affiliations, they're kind of just civilians right now. With who have like experience and stuff. We sort of got stuck together. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how we got together. Or you got you got you guys were all traveling on a ship together, going somewhere. We had to get together or just try to get off the planet. It's literally our only common goal. Oh, I'm sure we'll find something after that. Anyway, we ended off last time with them accepting a mission to find and bust a, a division of the Black Suns uh, slave gang. Like, they uh, capture raid villages, capture people, and just sell them off. And apparently there's been a bunch of missing people, people gone missing recently in the city. And they found clues that a black suns is here like a black suns division is set up here what not basically there are our gang of merry men have a mission to find their little division and they may or not may or may not have encountered the le the current lieutenant a, a lieutenant in the Black Sun's gang, and may or may not have threatened to murder him. <laughs> okay. Oh, he didn't I exactly just... directly threaten to murder him. I just said I would forkle up his face. Yeah, and then the fucking droid said, "Keep I one eye open." <laughs> Actually, no one else knows about that. Yeah, no one knows about that. Directly to him. No one fucking knows. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is Bobo here? Oh no, Bobo's. I don't think Bobo is here. I'm here. I have all the I'm trying to figure out paper. something from Minecraft. I give up. Anyway, we're playing did, did the Dungeons and Dragons. Did you just make up a whole cult leader thing on the spot? What do you mean, cult it's leader cult. thing? It's a fucking slavers They're operation. Slavers? Well, why did I say cult? Oh yeah, I mean they can be cult. No, I planned cult. it. I planned it. That was kind of weird. I planned the slavers thing. I didn't. I didn't plan the encounter with a lieutenant. I kind of just made it happen. Uh, perfect. Okay. Come up I do uh, you come up with your own spot. I got a perfect. I got a character. I hate all of you. I really I don't want you. to. Okay, I'm in character now. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Well, uh, all you guys know <laughs> is. Leo. That's unforgivable. Basically. Character. Okay, you guys just left the station after getting the mission from uh, Rosan. And you yeah. don't, you have no clues of where to start looking besides the fact that apparently BP encountered one of them near the, uh, near the Silver Spirit Serpent run by Todd. Nope, that's not good. BP? I'm going to check your memory oh. drive later to see if you did anything stupid. Wait, what? He's got to check your memory core, dude. Everything you do is recorded in a chat. Wait, wait, wait. Is it possible to, like, you know, just delete the browser history or something? He can literally do that. 
<laughs> memory ratio curation on your memory system. Or override. <laughs> yeah. Override that shit. No, you're not doing that. Man, only, only if I mark that guy as, as my, my story, so I could track him using my thingy. I mean, I have, I got a picture of his face. That's what you probably that work? Right. Can I can I use this with just a with just like a picture? Uh, I'm guessing not. Click it. Uh, let me read it out. Let me read it. Yeah, okay. Oh, did it not go through? Okay. okay. Rangers, Corey, you learn how to effectively read and track your prey. On once once on each of your turns, you can choose a creature you can see within 120 feet and mark it as your quarry. Next at oh yeah. <laughs> Deal additional attack, advantage on any wisdom checks to find it while it's on the same planet. It, you know what? It just says within, you can choose a creature within 120 feet of you and mark it as your quarry. I'll allow it this one time. Because uh, right. <laughs> he, he, has, he has pretty distinct features and you have a relatively, you have a pretty good picture of him. Cause I sent it directly to his like, uh, data pad or whatever. I just showed a hologram of it. A yeah. Very deta- uh, yeah. Very and I, I just basically, I says a very detailed hologram of it because he like saw, like his face and whatnot. So basically, yeah. um, yeah, this can uh-huh. this could work. This could work. Your Yay. Rangers quarry. I mean, uh, I'm not gonna able to use it yet until we actually start looking for him but yeah i was just wondering also it only mm-hmm. lasts for an hour yeah but i mean i can i can just keep redoing it because i can just keep seeing the hologram sniffing the hologram yes <laughs> <laughs> i think the hologram actually says something about it. it's able to replicate certain things hold on click it like smell uh, it creates sensory showers, sparks, blah, blah, blah. faint musical notes, or an odd odor. So if I know what he smells like, I can actually recreate his smell. You, you don't have a nose, you don't have a nose though. They have like a mixture of different chemicals that he just uses to like spray up a concoction. Make like I don't know what he smells like. That's oh, I would probably be required to install his chemicals in him before he does. In that, but I don't even have the ability to sense chemicals. I don't think. It's just like Beep. growing up skunk spray inside of him, and like. Oh, I could have had acid spray. Oh. <laughs> you could have. Beep. I wore off because there's a droid with a shotgun ready to shoot at you. Nothing but war off because it was an hour, but okay. I don't know, remember. Uh, Actually, it was like out of character. Game. Out of character. Did Rosan uh give us like a general location where the division was? Yeah, so we could no, they do not really know. There. They know it's somewhere in the outer rings of the city, which is a r- where around, like the silver uh spirit serpent is like at like at the edge of the middle tier in the city. Hmm. It's at the edge of the mid rim. It's oh, basically like bo- it's like any it's like Attack on Titan, bossing say that kind of stuff. Where like it's sectioned off. There's the mid the mid the mid ring of the city is you know where all the middle class people are, where most like almost all the merchants and the workers are at. Then it goes the lower ring where like the poorer people are at, or like and where most illegal operations op- happen. And then there is the the upper ring which has like all the rich people in the city. He's either going to be in the far outer ring or the far inner ring. Yeah. Well, you guys encountered him in ring. at the edge of the mid r- middle ring. Right, so is that the edge the going to the inside or going to the outside? Going to the outer ring. Okay. So, I think the outer ring is probably the first place you want to look for the division. And then... Beep, beep. The lady just probably didn't be in that area too. Or the big time, or whatever. Sure. Okay, now how, how does one find the division of a cult? 
Uh, slavery. You guys don't know what I kept that called. I just keep calling it. Do you have something to tell us, knock knock? No, it's just uh, very common in like Dungeons and Dragons stuff, fighting cults for some reason. I mean, keep saying that. we're doing that in our other campaign at the moment. That's, that's, that's why I keep saying it, because like in our other campaign, we're fighting a cult. It's like, keep, keep calling them a cult. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Uh, so Whoa. where should we find a division of a slave operation? <laughs> I don't think they stand out that much. Uh, no, they do not. They normally operate and like a, they look like local things, places that look like like an actual business or like a shop of some kind. Well, the illegal trade ra slave rigs, obviously, because some planets allow slavery, like Tatooine and other planets. Um, beep. Beep, 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 beep. Could you pull up the hologram again? Hold on, I'm in a bit of middle, but... Beep. Can you beep. go to my fourth beep. private place? Yes, beep. Yeah. Beep, yes. Okay. Hold on a minute, I gotta do this. What was I gonna say? <laughs> what was I gonna say? I was actually gonna say something. You forgot. <laughs> oh, I got it, I got it, I got it. Hold on, I know exactly what to do. Okay. Here, typing. Mm -hmm. I know. Your, your keyboard is so loud. Alright. Beep, beep, beep! Beep. Uh, that is, that's such a good idea, VP. Beep! Uh, what the what What'd he say? Thing? I can't, I can't see it. I sent an encrypted, encrypted message, so no one's allowed to see it. Oh, uh, you, you sent an encrypted message and you used, like, the message feature. I, yeah, I whispered to him. Yeah. Share it. Beep, beep! Uh, well, BP's going to be can just do a slave trade to try and beat them out. Beep! Uh, you can oh, certainly wow. try, but who are you going to slave trade? <laughs> I just immediately looked down at Dragon. At, uh, I, <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're, you're a rare, a pretty rare species. And the worst part is this, this species you be commonly enslaved. Yeah, because you're little <laughs> rabbits. Chico, I think you got just the job for you. I'll blow your brains out with the shotgun. Beep! Chico, I need you to be a team player for once. Beep! You like your brain and your body? Beep! <laughs> oh my god, Ice. Beep! <laughs> oh no. Wrong button, wrong button. I meant this. Beep, beep. Where were we ever in prison? Are you, what are you holographing? Where beep. Where we go to prison? Beep! Beep! You're just holographing yourself? Beep! <laughs> there is the... What is he holographing? <laughs> Wait, Holog so, uh, I... Could you guys quit saying holograph? Hologramming. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, for the love of god, put two and two together. Beep! <laughs> Beep 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 beep. Uh, I'll agree to it for now. Beep beep. Out of character, but I think I think BP was saying he would he would enslave himself. Yeah. Oh. Uh, beep. The, what the fuck you gotta do so with a droid uh, slave? You can literally just yeah, buy a droid. You could just buy a droid. Why would you? Why would you? <laughs> what the. <laughs> so he he's literally just hologramming a little like hologram of BP wearing a collar and like being dragged, pretty much. Okay, so you guys gonna go over to the hologram and just like swat at it. <laughs> just watch his hands go through over and over again. Beep. Uh, <laughs> that that's not gonna work. Tico, but you rather go to prison. Yes, or be an undercover. I'll go on an undercover mission as a slave. Uh, it's a choice. I hate slaves. 
I, I hate swings. Not swings. Okay, uh, what is, is your guys' plan to use knock knock as a slave practice slave then or whatever? Uh, you know what? I'm still the best lock out of everybody. I guess I'll go on the cover since the real since you're too scared. I'm not. Oh, hey. cool. Frack. All right, you guys no idea what's going on right now. Pretty like all you can hear is just the only ones who the only ones who understand binary <laughs> is Tico and Fauna. Or unless he, I, well, Tico can obviously understand it as he created him. I think Fauna, Fauna might understand it because normally Jet most Jedi that we have seen understand binary. Unfortunately, I have not. I have not communicated with many droids. Uh, yeah. Ash, do you understand binary? I like playing this game with charades much better, though. So, <laughs> yeah. Binary. Binary. The language of the, the droids, robot. like the robot language. The, the beep beep language. Beep, oh, one, one, oh, 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 one, one, oh, oh. Did you choose your language that you have to understand besides basic, Ash? Because you all have one language you can choose. You know that, right? Oh, yeah. I should actually it's, add. Quickly is that other than language. our race? I don't think I ever did that. Other than our no, race no, no. If your race has a language like humans and droids. Und droids understand all languages, but some most of oh, them yeah. can't, like, speak it. They understand Cause, cause it. I speak, because I speak Ardenian basic. I mean, yeah. Wait, I actually didn't add my extra language. It's Gungan and basic. We get an ex do, it, do we get an extra language? I don't you, think so. I think so. you can learn it eventually. You can learn like, You can learn one eventually, but... Hold up, wait. I, let me check the handbook. I think it's a, part, a background feature. Okay, no, we'll, just, so. we'll just say only Tico and Fauna understand binary. Yeah, we'll take binary. Also, so you said... Also, remember this... Ah, uh, dude, you have Ardenian Gungan. You're you're highly, you're fluent in Gungan and basic, and you ha and you understand and can slightly speak Ardenian. Remember that. You have well, three yeah, languages. Ar well, Ardenian is uh, <laughs> <laughs> I can speak it. Let look okay, Let's I... just con let's just continue on. So. Yeah, 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 you're you're still this like literally just standing in the middle of the street, like openly talking about <laughs> pretending to be a slave, like not not smart. Uh, private area. Get in here. I'm just gonna shove them into like some dark alley, you know, oh, the typical alley. typical place we would talk. Sure. Anyone else talks? Yep. All right. I'll just All call right. him with him. Awesome. Uh, have, I have never had an experience with the slave trade, but how would Kazaka are we going to advertise this? You don't advertise this. You go to a specific place. But we don't know where the specific place is. To look for a black mark or something. Beep. Beep beep. Beep beep. So, beep. so I guess the first thing that we should do is go to the outer <laughs> rooms and look for any place that looks suspicious. Bobo. Beep beep. Beep beep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> no. 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 We're, we're not Shut pulling up. a fucking Leia. Shut up. <laughs> Hey, I didn't. I mean, wait, hey. how, how do we know? How do we know it wouldn't be me though? Oh, good. Well, <laughs> well, by the way, God. ending dark isn't the best idea because the guy's already seen dark. Well, actually, he's probably seen all of us. But no, uh, but no, he only actually that. really saw uh, the gun guinea who walked up to him, asked for directions, and then threatened him. He did not see any of you other guys as you were not actively talking to him. Well. I mean, how, we could just well, I mean, hope I'm that the lieutenant is in a specific sure place. I've been on, I've been on knock knock shoulder this entire time. You were not sure. on knock knock shoulder at that point in time. Okay. You never said that. I know I'm on okay. his shoulder now. I said I'm on. I said I got on your shoulder last session. Oh, I forgot about that. Crap, you are. 
Okay, whatever. Because the only one who even like, like you went, you guys were like around him, but the only one who ever he ever actually like saw was like that was knock knock who literally went up to his face, went up to his face and threatened him pretty much. That's probably the most likely. Well, I didn't threaten him until he says a very offensive thing about things about Gungans. Uh, okay, basically, alcohol. work on the assumption that the only one he actually, like, fully saw was Knock Knock. Knock Knock. Wow. Well, I think we might Although that... have to just... Yeah, uh, I think uh, he's, he's gonna, gonna recognize a certain droid. He's gonna recognize he's a droid with a shotgun. Are the tenants going to be at this <laughs> specific division that they're sending us to? They just... Like a specific place, he might be, but he might not be. Could get lucky. Well, we could always start at the bar. Beep, beep. How about this, Tico? Listen, we'll have to send someone in. We'll send someone in first to see if he is in the area, Thank something you. like that. And then if he is, we'll send you. And if he's not, we'll send me. Oh, uh, all right. You're getting you also need someone else to go with me. You can type BP. Beep. Well, a robot beep. slave is somebody who's weird. Beep, beep, beep. Slave so, uh, Beep, beep. But you don't purchase people, purchase for this ash. I mean, okay, Fana. listen. Do you think the guy who insulted Gungan, the Gungan, called him a savage, would be amused by the fact that he is now getting, he got captured and is now being made a slave? I would be. Wait a second, I that would be, be the amused. best thing ever. It, yeah, you, you guys, I, I'm not really saying anything as I want you guys to like role play and yeah. get on your own, because like, this is d and I, I don't really want to interject too much, but like, you guys are going over everything except for that. <laughs> well, like, I mean, you went enough. to fucking a sex slave for <laughs> Ash. <laughs> we just. <laughs> I mean, I mean he wouldn't be suspicious of that, right? Like, he just. He, he seems pretty arrogant. He'd probably not think about it too much. He wouldn't. He probably wouldn't yeah. think about it too much. He'd just laugh, like, you got what you had coming to you, Gungan. Oh. You, you, might, you so... might get, like, a boot in the face. Grind it against Does, your forehead, you know. Uh, uh, I really don't want to ask this, but do you think he would think anything suspicious if I run in? Do you think he would ensure it? Oh no! If I was him, I'd be amused. Yeah, like rough. Oh, you guys could like rough correct. him up, rough up, uh, rough up, knock knock a little bit, and make it seem like he put up a fight. <laughs> I just roll the kitchen in the balls. You <laughs> do not get to do it. If, if you lay a hand on me, I will break. Okay, Take how do you kick him in the balls, Tico? As you are literally <laughs> face level with his genitals. You would have to jump up so high. Alright, man. You're on your knees. Yeah, right. on your feet. <laughs> Do you bite him on the cross? <laughs> That'd be worse. <laughs> That's gay. <laughs> I'm gonna run up, jump on BP, jump in, and fly to the universe. Okay, okay. If you jumped on BP, you'd be able to grab it, but you can try and- Okay, uh, Rio, you wanna try and grab him mid-air? <laughs> uh, yeah, cause I'm you're- be Rhea, aren't you- aren't you only like three feet tall? You're like around the same size as a normal monkey. Um, let me check. I'm basically just a- I- three, six. He doesn't- <laughs> You're literally the catch. same size as a normal monkey, just with more limbs. <laughs> just a normal monkey with four limbs. Has guns and can track things. Means pretty much. Uh, you can jump off and try and do that. Uh, make a dexterity, Go. both of you, uh, Tico and uh, Rio, make a dexterity save. Beach. Okay. 
Well, Rio, you, you, you technically have advantage as I don't. I'm pretty sure Tika wouldn't expect for a monkey to suddenly jump on top of him from higher <laughs> area. Because you you technically have the high ground over him, so I'd say it'd be advantage. Oh, uh, fuck. Rio would have Yeah. Can you just let me have this? Ooh. Ooh. Why you hit friend? Beep, 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 beep. Knock, knock beep. starts to consider buying some extra, like, bananas and fruit to give him his treats for such things. <laughs> In case here. <laughs> I follow the pickles and I'm sniff the, the rabbit. He's gonna sniff the rabbit. How does he smell? You know, does he smell filthy? No, you, you remember, uh -huh. you, you guys all took showers and whatnot. He kind of smells faintly of soap and just the city, like, just when you're walking around at the city, like, mix, makes sense from all kinds of different people uh, you encountered. You are lucky, Dragon. You're lucky Rio has a mask on her. He's going to give you, just, he's just going to lick you. <laughs> he's going to put down the rabbit. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. I refuse to be roughed up by any of you. Alright, so show me the days then. I said that because I'm done. I could take this myself, and then he's gonna ram himself into the wall, into like the alley wall. Remember, you guys are you're in the you're in a side alley, so all they can hear would be any like if you attack each other, they'd be hear any groans, screams. <laughs> Rio still doesn't know going on, what's going on. People are just like <laughs> that hits. We're shooting yeah. each other and. What the fuck? I said this is fun. Okay, we roll the damage. Beep beep. As you take six uh energy damage and like he said it's a stun, so it doesn't it won't ha kill you because like, see that's how, okay. I, I haven't exactly explained this, but I added this mechanic because it makes sense because in canon Star Wars they have that, but. Blasters can be set to stun, obviously, as I've already used that, and they can, and they, when they shoot you, and if they'll damage you, but it'll be like you're getting tased, and if you get knocked out, you don't go to death saving throw, it's just unconscious, like asleep, you're not dying. I'm going to use holograms and explain what's going on to... Also, uh, lightsabers can work the same way, since they have, lightsabers have a training mode for when the... Like Wait, the Padawans what? practice. You just lightsabers to stun? Well, no, they have a training mode because uh, when you're a you're Padawan, you practice with a, your real lightsaber, but it's set to a training mode where it only stings and doesn't kill. Oh, okay. Well, so you're going to have to be very specific what you're showing me right now. Alright. So there's going to be a hologram of the, 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 weird, the weird dude. Jack. And he's going to go up. J Jack. The dude that we encountered, that I threatened, and he's gonna go. He's gonna. It's gonna be showing like slightly picture of him, a picture of the Gungan, uh, knock knock, 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 being held captive by pretty much everyone else, or by some one of us, walking up and offering him as a slave. While knock knock goes in there and does any work that he needs, does all the work he needs to, whatever. So basically, you're showing me knock knock as a slave. He oh, oh god, <laughs> sort of, sort of, pretty much. This is basically what what's the hologram is depicted. Okay. Right, yeah, also, crying. uh, right now, uh, currently, knock knock is screaming in pain from getting sh tased in the balls, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, do I have to do the scream? You can try. You don't have to. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Grab Dragon's gun because he shot his friend, just shot friend. Grab his gun. Oh, uh, roll both of you, roll a dexterity check to see if it happens. Dexterity check or save? Check. Checkmate. <laughs> I think, uh, okay, it's a, tug of war. it's a draw. You guys are currently doing tug of war. Both of you make strength checks now. Oh fuck! Oh, I'm horrible at strength. I have a mighty tooth strength. Ah. 
<laughs> he had a 16. <laughs> you got a 17. He had a 16, but he has a minus 2, so that's to be able to 14. You rip the gun out of his hands. <laughs> BP. I'm gonna throw it as Wait, hard as I can. Save. I'm gonna just Wait. chunk it. BP okay, shoot. as you they chuck it, it ricochets off the wall and falls into a dumpster. My gun! Yeah. Ooh, BP. BP. I'm gonna go BP. grab my gun. Can retrieve Okay. Just how will you get in the how will you get in the dumpster <laughs> as it is about <laughs> four feet tall and you're only two feet tall? It's literally double your height. Who? Me? No, uh, Tico. Me. I'm at three six. Paper. Okay. Can, can I get it and like dangle it above his head? Beep, beep, you beep, can do beep. that. I jump on. Okay. Or two. I mean, beep, 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 or two, two. One to the. Uh, <laughs> as you're doing this, trying making this like two kids standing on each other's shoulder in a trench coat like version to hop into the dumpster and grab it. Knock knock was walked and already grabbed the gun. Oh. Uh, yeah, uh, you can do something, Ash. No. Fauna. You promise not. <laughs> okay, uh, as Fauna points to knock knock, suddenly. Deck <laughs> uh... save? Yeah, roll it. Uh, you keep it. Nope. Fala, what the heck? Yeah, as he, like you see Fala pointing at you, and, like you feel like if he weren't, if he didn't grip as hard as he could just then, the gun would have got sent, would have been like just taken out of your hand. Beep. Uh, you know what? Oh. We can have this back if you promise not to shoot anyone again. Alright, I'll, uh, I'll not shoot anybody. Promise? I, I promise. Okay, I'll, I'll <laughs> hand it. I'll, I'll hand it to him. Is he bending over? <laughs> A little bit. Why? He's gonna punch gonna you. That hits! I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I can't say this out loud, so I'm just playing in the Discord. Go ahead! <laughs> <laughs> Why do you fight each other so much? Anyway, okay. um... Actually, hold up. Knock, I'm knock. unconscious. No, what do you do? Because as you're bending over about to hand him the gun, you see Tico pull out a little defibrillator and start charging it. How do you react to the, like, the few, like, the little, like, two seconds you oh. have before he reaches out to, like, you see him, like, a little, like, a little, like, a glint in his eye as he pulls out his defibrillator <laughs> and starts we running it together. Gun, yes, you are. And it starts, you hear it going, zzz, 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 zzz. I'm gonna shoot him in the hand. Like as he like, like set the stun, I'm gonna shoot it, him in the hand to make him drop it. Okay. Uh, roll a blaster fire at advantage. Okay, just, just like my regular gun, my regular one. blaster, pretty much, because I don't have one of those. Yeah, just do a normal gun. Okay, oh, roll it. Uh, that hits. Uh, what's the damage on that? One d four plus dex. Yeah. Six damage. Okay, um, as he shoots you in the arm, as you're have you're about to start cackling after you tase him in the genitals with the defibrillator, you hear a pew, and you're suddenly shot in the hand with a stun round, and like your fur is singed, and you can you know you can see, you smell kind of like cooked rabbit right now. Right. Oh. You crossed the line. EP said you chocolate the sun in Everybody, everybody, we have more important jobs to do. Just 
put your weapons down. You so we can stop doing so this much. job. What ash? Okay. Deep. But I like how you guys have been rolling, role playing so much. It's awesome seeing you we, guys. Well, we, we, we do really, we do a good role play of a defective family. Yeah, it, it's quite entertaining <laughs> to see you guys actually like, r like staying in character so well and having fun. You can't go wrong, BP. Just do whatever you want. <laughs> I feel like I didn't have to do the scream again. <laughs> uh, you can get fire. Can we stop fighting, please? Can we actually just do something productive for once? <laughs> okay, okay so sure. Rio, you, you, Bobo, you can make Rio, like, stop this. Like, try and stop this. Like, I'm come on. I've been trying, Rio. What have you been doing? You've, you've just been saying, stop, friends, not bad guys. Well, actually, I, I left while, while most of this was happening for a second. But I, I heard it, but I wasn't here to actually stop it. But um, Rio's gonna just get between them and just try to make them stop. Okay, as Tico pulls out his little shotgun, or or actually no, he oh gets God. he doesn't pull out the shotgun. He has access to BP's character sheet because Ice and they they both have access to the sheet. So he oh, pro he probably yeah he went onto your sheet and rolled it because he's yeah, a four. He had a four, and as you tell, BP fire like that or in your voice, whatever you can say it. BP is w own will is overrided by your command, and he shoots the shotgun, and it does not hit. Miss. Hey, what you... uh, I was gonna what? give back to you. You kind of surprised. What the crown? Real. I appreciate you trying to help, but you're gonna get yourself hurt. Yeah. Uh, Here's the thing, you can just knock out the rabbit and then chain it and then bada bing yeah, two if birds you knock one out the stone. rabbit and the and the robot's gonna knock me out the robot's just gonna attack. As Fauna says, we are wow, we are never gonna stop the slave ring by in this alley. <laughs> beep, slave, tr uh, keyword slave. Beep, beep, beep. No, right. Crusade. Beep. Operation Crusade. Uh, just you and Rio, uh, just, just let Tico and BP. <laughs> get an iron blast. Whatever the crap. What did they get an iron blast? I don't remember having this. What the heck? <laughs> it's, it's the little laser that RT, like the, like the droids can shoot out. Yeah, but when did I get this? I don't remember having it. <laughs> you do. I had it. I just forgot to this. I had to say to you. Okay, Tico? If you? J just, just. You can see Tico, like, like, commanding BP in this. <laughs> okay, as he's BP's saying that command, I'm, I'm gonna make the deck save, and then if, if, if I'm. Well, after I either get hit or don't get hit, it doesn't matter, I'll still be conscious. I'm, I'm gonna try to knock this little rabbit out. Okay. Okay, Dark, the best way to knock him out since he's so small and light is to just pick him up and throw him. <laughs> yeah, you could just pick him up and just throw him. It's very bad. It is he's very bad. Him. To die. It's it's you have a robot take one damage. shotgun aimed at your mouth. You fail the dexterity, so you take the damage. That might kill I'm him going... if you throw him too far. Oh, you're right. Uh, let's see. Take him instead of throwing him. <laughs> okay, him. okay, I'll give you context. Um, Five, six, seven. I only have 40 you guys left, damn it. Anyway, ignore me and my muttering about only having 40 you who's left. I have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, today alone, I'm drinking like 12 of them. I think I'll be <laughs> even <laughs> even <laughs> throw up. Hey, I threw up because I shotgunned eight, eight bottles in five minutes. That's, That's why. Well, I remember today, I, I had my eyes watering because I got like... We were about to leave the skating ring we were at. Anyway, well, anyway, anyway, thirsty, anyway. So back on track, back on track. It. What yes, were you I going think. to do? Uh, knock, knock? Oh, right. Uh, make this simple. I'm just gonna set to stun and... Oh, God. <laughs> okay, roll the... Do the 40... Do, do the four, 1d4 plus 4, and then uh, that... Whatever you get automatically doubles. Okay. 
14. I'm unconscious. You take 14 damage, and as you see this maniacal little rabbit about to issue a command to BP to pull out the shotgun again, you shoot him directly in the face with a stun, with the set to stun. Oh no. Wait, and no. You oh, aim, oh, while, I, while paper, you're just aiming paper. for the face, what? I want him to feel what I felt. I'm not aiming for the face. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. You tell you know about Falzar. Then you, you direct. It's basically, his entire body still. You're direct. <laughs> it is pretty much. You're like you laser in on his lower region and get a direct shot covering his entire crotch and hitting directly where his shirt is. You know, shaft meat. Hitting all three pieces at once. <laughs> <laughs> as you just hear a high pitched squeal as he falls unconscious. And then it was set to stun, so he actually got tased, so like the fur is singed. For order the rabbit. <laughs> That's like a okay. <laughs> Error. As this is happening, can Rio jump on the, the, the droid and cover his like eye? Yeah. Beep. Anchor beep beep. Okay, he's just trying to cover his eyes so he can't see, so he can't shoot anybody. Okay, yeah, she picked up the unconscious. I the saw him get tased. Multiple fur. Like, fur, multiple <laughs> burns of fur. What are I'm you hitting Tico. Why are or you. Not Tico, uh, uh, the. Uh, oh, oh. Rio. Rio? Yeah, Rio. Beep. Rio. Beep, beep. As you're beep, currently beep. like you're like you're uh making monkey noises <laughs> on top of this droid, trying like trying to blind it while you're like while your arms are covering over going over its eyes, suddenly I got like fiber optic a compa yeah he, he do has a he does have a fiber optic upgrade. Suddenly, uh, a little defibrillator comes out from like right under his head at his chest area where the shotgun normally comes out of, and like it has little arms and it reaches up and just. Tases you. Go for the bow. Tases you on the arms. Beep. You take eight lightning. Damage. All right. Forget this little light pistol. Rio, get off the droid. We're getting this job done. Beep. That hits. Roll damage. Beep. 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 Oh, dude, that. What the frick? <laughs> I don't know why, but I always get good damage with this. <laughs> uh, basically, right now, uh, you he's now in shutdown mode, so he's just powered down. <laughs> you powered me down, you monster. Uh, basically, now you have the powered down droid, the unconscious burnt uh, Kushiban, which was picked up by Fauna, and you don't know where they where they went. Uh, well, I can't like, even move on my own. If you're yeah. paying attention, yeah, you would have heard her say that she was taking Tico back to the Silver Spirit Serpent. Uh, you know the Cantina well, slash Inn. Well, it looks like just you and me. So and a powered either. down droid. I can't do anything, <laughs> by the way. Uh, like we're not, I, I just... we're not carrying out the plan of just the two of us, Rio. We're gonna get the droid, go back to the cantina, and regroup. We need to talk some sense into that ignorant, imbecile excuse for a crewmate. <laughs> Beep. Weren't you? Aren't you still powered down, BP? Or did like suddenly no. like? Or did suddenly like? Because you like how R two D two like he like turtles. No, I'm powered down completely. It's just that you mentioned you were mentioning something, and BP ang angrily disagrees. Yeah, you know how you like you me. know how like R two D two like turtle shells. That's what you basically do when you power and you go into power down mode. So suddenly it looks like the like your eye just suddenly like popped back out, and then they heard a like an angry beep 
and then it the went angry back beef in. Go back. Mm -hmm. This is a normal maintenance yeah. mode. Like I. Uh, well. But does that mean he's still recording this whole conversation? Uh, not really. Well, I mean, um, I did emergency shutdown, so therefore I didn't. I'm, everything's shut down. There's nothing yeah. going on over here. I'm, I'm gonna get the droid. Let's go back with that bath of poodoo. There's also uh wait, I got Tico. Do you have a data pad? Yeah. Like you know, like the basically like the tablet kind of thing. Tablet like phone wrist. Uh, I, uh, which I have a wrist pad. Wrist pad. I have a wrist pad. Yeah, the wrist pad. I don't like, you guys, but I. You do. can use that to like view. You could basically use it to use BP as a scout and like view his optical feed. He would, right. but right now, I think he's passed out, and I'm right, shut down. So right now, you're unconscious and burnt. Yes, but I, I probably should have one, but I don't think I do. I already you, should, you get one, but being an engineer, so... Yeah. I mean, yeah. Ice has one, and he's the droid, so he, it means you have one. Right, okay. Yeah. That's a... That's, I'm just, I just have a character piece for now. Well, technically, right. it's a wrist pad for you, because it's like yeah, on your probably. arm. It's called a wrist pad. I'll just tap right. it. I don't know if I have one of those. It, it wasn't in like the equipment thing, but I could just. It I don't should. Know. It would be in the yeah. Hold on, I'll check. Or try to. Yeah, I don't think I have one. <sighs> Let's go back to the cantina. This is going to be a major setback thanks to that little rabbit stew. What are you doing? Let me hit you the ball. Dark Witcher class again? I'm an operative. Operative, okay. All right. Well, we're gonna we're gonna head back to the cantina and regroup there, and I'm gonna be carrying the droid with right, Rio on my shoulder or beside me or something. I'm I'm just a bit surprised that no uh, guards came yet. That's also very fair. Well, in the outer you guys, ring, you guys, you, you know, you're still in the middle, like you're in the middle ring, just a random alley. But Wait no, know that. yeah no. You went in, you went you went in to the outer ring and started planning this in an alley, but then all your fighting happened, so you guys left and went back to the silver spirit. And so, yeah, no operative does not get a wrist pad. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm just saying, um, you know what they say: barkeeps are always the best people to get information. Mm -hmm. Out of yeah, characters, right. but yeah, it is a cool. I mean. That, that's a good idea, you know, that's that's pretty good, reliable source of information. See if he knows anything about the Black Sun game. I mean, I probably could have showed yeah, his face, but I'm powered down. <laughs> someone, <laughs> someone has to have a wrist pad. Or something. I have a wrist so, pad. Can you show, I don't think you can show okay. all of it, though. It, it's good, it's probably is locked. So, uh, is the, assume the canteen is open. Wait, what yeah. time is it anyway? It's like mid. It's like midday. It's like one something. All right, so I'm, we're gonna we're gonna head on in. We're gonna set the two unconscious people down, or unconscious Kushibad and the shut down droid. Leave them until they happen to wake up, and then I'm gonna start uh, talking to the reasonable people in the yeah. group, <laughs> so that we can actually maybe get something done. Yeah, you, know, you, you see, the thing you is, you said you set down the Kushiban. Uh, Fauna already brought the Kushiban and sent him back in the room. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, I, well, I said we, so just I kind of assumed that Fauna would. Yeah, pretty much that's what happened. <sighs> Fauna, I see you got back safely. How's Tico doing? Uh, he is still passed out. Time, you got tased, like, the shit tased out of you. Ugh. Also, it's it's only been so, like it's only been like thirty minutes, really. You're probably gonna be unconscious for like like two or like a couple hours, like two hours maybe. I'd say like around two hours. You got tased. Hard. Is there a way to allow them to make me get up? Oh, yeah, like they can like stim you, or like okay. slap you awake, or like put you in water to wake you up. We're probably gonna do some one of those like uh, we're gonna just make a super 
funny way of waking him Speaking up, like, like splashing like, with the face with water. You guys or... have blocked, you guys have seen multiple shops. You have not once visited anything. We have not what? The only what places you have been in this city, uh, the city of, I don't remember. The hell, what did I call this place? Uh, I don't remember. I, I, I'm just blanking on it, whatever. You haven't explored the city that much because one yeah, of the first things you that haven't explored happened was going into a holding cell. Yeah, the only no. How do you mean? Oh, that was on the. That was on. That was, that was no, no, that was after. Right? That was no, that was the session zero, idiot. We haven't, we haven't been oh, in yeah. trouble yet. So that was... why is everyone's token not in? An I'm, for, I'm forgetting stuff because I was playing this when I was like almost passed out, tired. Mm -hmm. And well, basically. Anyway. What happened was, all these guys have been to is the Spirit Serpent Inn, slash Cantina, and the station. You have seen, you saw a ship, dealership, claiming to have low, low prices. You saw a droids parts shop, a couple restaurants. Maybe you can search around. Uh, will look to be, like, a for... weapon, slash, like, you know, camping and whatnot, like... Like a weapons and like medicine shop, like supplies for like travelers. Basically, like a general goods store, but like we're dealing in like weapons and medical supplies and utilities. Okay. Rio. Fana. I assume you two aren't going to start fighting each other. Oh, well, you said you wanted to get injured, so I was just trying to help. <laughs> oh, fight, yeah, friend. I, I... I told both of I, I told everyone that I would do it myself. By that time, I already shot in the ball. Because I have a certain level of dignity that would be severely damaged if I got beaten up by a Kushiban. I, I have no more. Uh, pro, I, I, I'm just, I just did one. We're gonna bust this. We're not at, not at Fauna in agreement. If we're gonna bust the slave trade, first thing we need to do is ask around so we can find out where the heck they are. You should probably get medical supplies, because you guys have been getting fucked up. Oh, that's right. But we Mainly can have a little bit other. from the ship, don't we? Wait, wait do we, we do anything with the medical supplies from the ship, or did we already no, sort of Ash, use that to pick? No, Ash just used the flare and shot it into the roof, and then it fell back down and lit her legs on fire. I extinguished it, don't worry. So, I say we take some time to recuperate Basically, from Basically, you have, uh, uh, you have a couple stims, a, a, a back-to-pad, back-to-pad, which is basically just super disinfectant slash healing spray, and bandages. That's all your things. Stims are, like, just the needle injections that, like, hook you up with some medicine. They're, they're literally just stim packs, pretty much. From Fallout, if you're aware. So, would you say that how much of that would we have to use to like fix up the, how much we've injured each other? Probably like a stim per person, but like you guys can just sleep it out, sleep it off. That's, uh, yeah, we could just sleep. I say we just sleep it off and we save those for. Because like you like, had to wait two hours for uh, Tico to wake up, so it's like four in the afternoon. Well, oh, Tico's not woken up yet because I'm going to talk to them a little yeah, bit like, before we you, have to okay. deal with. Me mechanically, you guys could get a long rest in and then go out at night to do all this slave busting. We yeah. Could, we, probably, we, we, we probably will once Tico wakes up. Yes, we'll wait just, like, for Tico to wake up. up when you guys can all just wait, rest. Yeah. Like, you can literally right. wake him up by, like, slapping him, pouring water on him, shaking him. I mean, yeah, we'll do that. But, like, I'm going to have a short conversation. I'll smack him awake, we'll have a rest, we'll do the thing. But I might have to give him like a quick little talking to, I might have to be his dad for a minute. Did you about the birds and the bees? <laughs> 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 uh, yeah, I mean, I might have to teach him about the, uh, you know, the, the so donkey like and the goose, I don't parrot? know. What's the, the... the monkey and the parrot? <laughs> the monkey and the parrot. <laughs> Paris and the bats, you know. Sarlax of the spaceships. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, no. I'm thinking about it now. Okay, okay, come on, people. 
<laughs> Back on track. We're in a campaign. We're semi-serious. Come on, people. Semi-serious. <laughs> semi-serious. Uh. I don't expect much, but <clears throat> something. You should know we can't be serious. Is everyone up to date on the plan? We don't have any questions here. Am I awake? No, I actually haven't been listening for the past, like, five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to ask. We're going to rest up. Ask around for some information on the gang a little bit, and then try to find them so we can kill them. A very Perfect. indirect open plan, but okay. But well, I thought that was, I I thought that was the idea from the start. Because there's a lot that can go unprepared. No, it's a plan, more of how you do it. Howdy. Come on, guys, continue. Don't just All stop. Right. Am, am I awake? No. no, no, wait, hold up. You guys should probably go okay. wake up Tico for plans so he knows what's going on. Well, yeah, I think you heard the whole conversation. I'm basically just catching. This whole thing was just to catch up with Rio because he was. I like to imagine Tico in his sleep just saying, Am I awake? Um, Never again. Right, okay. okay. Right, One minute. Ooh, dark's getting cold to go to bed. Ooh. 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 Why do we gotta film? Told that... Why do we gotta film what? these so late? I because like everyone's busy during the day. And, like it just always ends up being like like nine o'clock at night. And, like when we start this. Shit. Yeah, he said go to bed Good. at eleven. He's just gonna have to get real quiet in a little bit. Well, <laughs> so, you guys, uh, we're going to get to a mid-session catch-up. They have, so far, <laughs> fought in an alleyway, shot each other in the nuts, knocked each other out. pretty much it. Then plan, start making plans to bust a slave trade ring. And we are currently, we're currently at 57 minutes into the session. They have done I nearly developed that. Like, okay, okay. Time to get First, we're gonna wake up Tiko. Just, I'm gonna lift him up and drop him on the floor. <laughs> it's gonna do exactly what you want it to do. Okay, you're gonna. How, where are you gonna lift him up at? I was Everything about to say you're gonna kill just, him. Like, height wise, grab, grab him by the sh like just. I could like. The child. I don't know. Like two feet. Or like, like, like you lift them up to like around your like like your like uh like just my just like my like waist like around your waist can... level. Okay. Okay. You oh. can you drop them as as you drop them. Fana is saying, "How about we get a water from Todd?" <laughs> as you guys are just oh, sitting in all... the room, as he continues. Oh right, Todd. I forgot there were other people here. <laughs> <laughs> As I, I'm like, yeah, let's go get a water. And I take my hands off him and like drop him and start walking over to Todd. As you drop him on the ground, he startles awake as he's on the ground. And like He's in pain. <laughs> like his back hurts. I bite the closest thing near me. Bite you, bite, thing you bite the closest thing in near you. You bite onto uh, BP's bite metal foot. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, Wait. Your poor teeth. <laughs> I, I I feel like I'll probably buy all two. I thought I was gonna buy all two. Though. No, yeah. your closest one next I to you is he dropped you onto the floor right next to BP's deactivated frame. I expected a table, but okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna you know just grab the water from Todd and then go back over to t with I, I just, Todd. I'm feeling a little thirsty. Could 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 you pour me a water? Okay. Uh, whatever. It's on the house. It's just some water, and then we get plenty of that with all this rain. <laughs> all this rain. Anyway, he just pours. He just pours you a glass. Here you go. Uh, thanks, pal. You no know, problem. And then I'll go over and splash in Tigo's face. No, I'm kidding. I'm, I'm just gonna take a little sip, like... So, done with the nut shots? 
I have my gun right now. Anyways, I'm gonna Yeah, you people. still have this gun, knock knock. No, I'm going to keep this gun until I think you need it. <laughs> As Rio on your shoulder screams, not pal, friend, stop fighting. <laughs> yes, Rio. Okay, I said not pal, friend when he said thanks, pal. I'm just gonna go with my wrist pad and start waking up BP. Okay, as he <laughs> goes onto his wrist pad, powers it up, enters his passcode, whatever, and then enters like a bu what looks like to you guys is just like he's just rapidly pressing buttons and typing something, and then suddenly BP exits shutdown mode and just awakens. Leo's gonna turn on his wrist pad and, and ask to add dragon. <laughs> ask to hey, what? what? Add him on all the social media's paper. <laughs> on the hollow net? You want to have a friend him yeah, on the I'm hollow net? Yeah, add him on the hollow net. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go through my entire BP. Okay, you guys are now friends on, like, Jedi space or something. <laughs> Quick, make a Star Wars, like, social media, like, like fucking... Facebook. Like, Snap Wars. Spacebook. Spacebook. Yeah, you, you, just, you just added him on Spacebook. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go with it. Facebook's a thing. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Memory loading. I know things are getting deep, but I laugh in character. <laughs> Spacebook. I don't know why Spacebook is so fun. Yes, you can message sure. through Facebook. <laughs> Don't mind me typing. Sound like someone just punched something like a wall in my house. Oh, oh gosh. Or don't probably, worry, that's just or probably like head the wall or something. That's just me trying to get in. Don't worry. <laughs> what are you? I'm just trying to get in. Okay. Anyway, I'm just trying to get in. as everyone anyway. is now awake and grouped up, what do you do? Uh, BP. Yeah, if I'm correct, he still has my gun, right? Uh, yes. Knock, knock. Still has your gun. Beep. All right, knock, knock. Can I request my gun back? May I please request good behavior? Yeah. I I only listen to BP. Beep 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 beep. I'll behave for now, but piss me off. I won't hesitate to shoot you. Beep. Do you remember what happened last time, little Sith spit? I, I know better than last time, so I'm gonna like toss him the gun. <laughs> Let's cast. Guys. Make a dexterity check. <laughs> oh. oh. Wait, who, me or uh, Dragon? Hold for a second. And like... Okay. Oh, well. Sorry about that, someone came in the room. Uh, what, what were you guys going on about just now? Nothing. Uh, nothing. Uh, uh, does, a, does a 9 dexterity catch the gun? Uh, no, it does not. As Tico, wow. as Tico just gets smacked in the face with his gun, taking one damage. <laughs> oh. That you doesn't help. Are completely useless. Yeah. All right, let's go to bed so we can carry on with our business tonight. We're all too injured to do anything right now. Okay, so as a uh, Rio and Nook Nook go into the room, they share. Uh, B D uh B P. Oh yeah. Wait no. Fauna. I'm, I'm BP. Bartender for. Okay. Okay, everyone, do what you want. Tell me what you're going. Tell me what you're doing before and whenever. All right. I'll go last. Okay. All right. So Fauna, you're walking up and ordering a steak dinner for lunch. <laughs> She's a steak addict. Okay. What kind of space cows do they have? I'm curious now, but steakaholic. It's it's uh, nerf. You're back for it's nerf meat. You want more Wait, steak? Is, this, is this nerf meat? Probably, I don't know. Nerf herder. 
probably steak, nerf steak, whatever. Hey, it's just nerfer. steak. Let's not question it. Okay. <laughs> Mystery meat. Okay. Uh, Fauna, <laughs> you get to your. Uh, you're going up and asking for the steak. Well, you seem to like your steak a lot, says Todd. It's the only thing you've ordered from me. For breakfast, lunch, and dinner now. <laughs> and the water. No, no sides or anything, just steak. <laughs> You're a weird one, lady. Uh, actually, how do you want your steak cooked? I've just been giving you just cooking steak. Just, we haven't really specified. I've just been making steak. I mean, okay. Okay, I've give, okay medium well. Well. Hey, that's good taste. I mean, I, I gave you medium rare and well done. You didn't complain. <laughs> <laughs> steak is steak. Okay. Uh... Here is your medium well, medium well <laughs> steak with some water, no sides, pretty odd, but anyway, here you go, uh, enjoy, that would be 10 credits. Okay, Pam. Oh, let's see. What do I want for lunch? Now let's switch to Knock Knock. As uh, Fauna is sitting down at one of the tables, just eating her steak lunch with water. Nothing else. <laughs> no steak sauce Wait, or does anything. She, does just... she, like, eat it with, like, you know, a fork and knife, or does she just grab her hand, and grab her hands, and, like, rip it apart? Fauna, how do you eat it? It's just, I'm pretty sure to be a fork and knife as you're, you're raised in a Jedi temple, so they should have put some smears and whatnot and like civil appearance to keep up <laughs> okay 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 manners. so she is just uh. eating plain steak and water no steak sauce no sides or anything <laughs> no i'm i'm not too hungry just give me like a six piece nuggies or something <laughs> <laughs> six piece nuggies Six piece nuggy. Uh, okay, I'll just. You're just gonna get like some like you're just gonna get like. Oh. Whatever. Let's just whatever. They have they have chicken nuggets. Whatever. You get a six piece of this <laughs> with some fries on the side. Whatever. We're not going Star Wars. We that'd be much too much. That'd be too much research. So you're just gonna get like. I know. Food. I know. That that's why I just decided to order normal food. Like I wasn't about to look up Star Wars dishes or whatever. <sighs> they do not have space outback bread. That would mean you have to go to Space Australia. And well, Space Australia got blown up already. Wait. What the? I mean, they have like. Everything's actually upside down. Like, That's a Dragon Ball Z abridged yeah. reference for you people. Okay. Because apparently the there I is... <laughs> no. There is a space... In Dragon Ball Z abridged, there is a space Australia and space, uh, like, fucking New Zealand. <laughs> Sounds about right. And it's space <laughs> France. What do you mean you mean you mean there's not that like in real life? No, I mean, it's like a know. planet that is just one country or state. Oh yeah, God, dude, do you, you mean you mean Australians aren't from a different planet? Uh, yeah. Okay, whatever, whatever. Let's just okay. Knock knock. You get a normal meal. Uh, you gonna you gonna get Rio any like bananas? Oh right, yeah. I'm gonna order like a uh, Rio like, some like like a whole... bananas to eat now. But then also I'm gonna get some to give him later. Okay, so I'd say you like, get, just a like, sack you get of them. like you get a, you want you just wanna buy a full sack of bananas with like with like thirty in it. Five sets sure. like five bushels or whatever I they're like, called. I would like some like what's varying a, what's, a, what's a group of bananas called? Like this like one that there's like the six a bunch. on the stem. Bunch. Hold on a minute, I got okay, this. Okay, so you'd get a... okay, you get five bunches of yeah, banana. 
So it's, it's called a hand. hand. It's called a hand. hand, and an individual banana is called a finger. You have uh, thirty bananas can, in a sack now. That would be. Can you make them varying ripenesses so that I can feed them to my friend here over time? Okay, or there's so, one that's like normal. That's... Yeah, there's one that's like normal, like fresh. There's then there's a bunch that are not ripe, and then there's one set that's ripe. Bobo is correct about the hand that's finger thing. Oh, that's according to Facebook Buzzfeed thingy, but whatever. Yeah, a single banana is called a finger. A grouping of attached no. fingers make up a hand. Whatever, let's just go. We, it's a stock. bunch of it. He has like 30 bananas, whatever. He has like over right. a stock of hands. And as yeah. you uh, give some, you, you give just like the normal, like ready to eat bananas to Rio. Mm -hmm. Just give. How, how, uh, Rio, how many bananas do you want? He holds out three on all of his fingers. <laughs> he wants 12 Good. bananas. He only means three. Good. Prong, what? How hungry <laughs> are you, Rio? You know what? I'm just going to give you three. Rio's confused again why he would want anything other than three. <laughs> three is what he said. <laughs> Holy uh, shit, you are a hungry, hungry. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna give him his three bananas. <laughs> Rio, Rio eats the banana like a normal person, but then he licks the peels clean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, next we switch to Tico and BP. Alright, just go look at his Dave. Disgusting. <laughs> you just gonna order like a sack of carrots? Oh yeah. Wait, no. Uh, you actually gotta pay. Uh, knock knock. That would, what you ordered would be a. It'd be like forty for the whole sack of bananas and like ten for the meal. So about fifty, fifty credits. All right. So there's another forty that I've paid just, just for you, Rio. Friend. <laughs> just, just friend. To make your friend broke. <laughs> <laughs> none of you still, none of you know, still, none of you know that Rio has actually a hefty sum of money. <laughs> he, he just doesn't know what it is. He just thinks it's shiny. So, so, Rio, I have a question. How have you managed to, over your entire career, never got any credits throughout your entire <laughs> life? Credits. Rio's scratching his head. Pulls out like a like a like credit from his bag or whatever. You see yeah, the these little things. card. Like the Uber little... card. What'd you say? What? Uber card. <laughs> Uber <laughs> card. <laughs> That's right. Uber <laughs> card. Rio, Rio pulls out a handful of like all of his credits. As Rio pulls out two <laughs> over two thousand credits. <laughs> he actually had the most amount of credits to start. He had twenty four hundred credits. He has twenty. Oh, I had four of him. You have more than him. Yeah. You have the credits of two people: your droid and you. Rio, I'm, I'm like Rio has twenty four hundred mm, booba cards. This is. <laughs> He okay, says, I gotta inhale. He says, deeply. told me not to keep these and make sure not to lose them. Okay, for those of you who don't know, which is none of you, uh, Booba yeah. is the Mandalorian that raised uh, Rio. It's, and it was Booba right. Fett. <laughs> right. It's not like a. Uh, okay, you know what? Um, okay, I'm gonna inhale. Ready to weird. scream at him. Then, hey, Rio, you, you want your friend to hold to hold your shiny booba cards for you? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh <He's>... my god! <laughs> I, I, I <can't. laughs> well, you see, I'm, I'm big and strong. I can keep them safe for you. No. Uh, let's see. 
monkeys growling at you now. <laughs> Do I have anything particularly like shiny on me? Hold up, no. let me check my equipment. Hmm. Fauna is actively telling Rio to keep a hold of his booba cards. Uh, yeah, you want to know that fun fact? You can use those to get your own bananas. And then friend does not have to give up all of his booba cards. <laughs> Why friend have booba? Everyone has booba. <laughs> oh my god. Booba game <laughs> yes. this, this if you if you this would be so this could be taken out of context so much because <laughs> all the YouTubers <laughs> call booba. the you know the boobs the booba. So you yeah. basically <laughs> <laughs> I like this. You guys are like are really funny right now. Oh god, I didn't I wasn't aware of that slang until now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. You guys still okay. haven't even started your mission. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm just waiting. Yeah. I, 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 I'll, 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 I got a plan. Don't worry. Are you aware how much boob are you have? <laughs> everybody has them. They're very valuable. Rio sad. Them. Why is Frem trying to take what Booba gave him? No. Only Booba <laughs> have them. <laughs> no, 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 you can, you can keep, <laughs> I can't, I can't even. You, you just gonna stop, like. You gonna give up yet? You gonna give up yet, bro? <laughs> you know what? I, I, don't, I don't want your group of cards, you can keep them, but literally everybody has those. They're not mm -hmm. called booba cards, they're called credits. Rio doesn't believe you and just growls. <laughs> you go show him your credits. Fauna, show him your credits. Fauna is actively <laughs> telling them that they are called booba cards. <laughs> Fauna, don't encourage it. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying. Dra we can't hear Dra Dragon. Leave the VC and rejoin because we can't hear you. Oh, I, I just wasn't talking. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm dying. Kiko, just show him your credit. Kiko? Dragon. Dragon, Kiko? Kiko? They're, they're interacting with you. They're trying to get you to interact, oh. dude. <laughs> That's why they're saying Tico. Oh, yes, what, what you want? Show Rio your credit. I'm gonna show you my credit. He doesn't believe that other people besides him have credits. And and Fauna is in the right next to you guys, actively referring to them as booba cards and saying, "No, they're called booba cards, not credits." <laughs> you know what? You know what? You know Rio, what? Rio's gonna gonna look at look at Fauna and be like, "Are their friends crazy?" <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I can't. <laughs> <laughs> so Tika, are you gonna order? Are you just gonna order some carrots from Todd, and then you guys go long rest? Finally. <laughs> no, no, y'all aren't rattle rushing just yet. I have a whole plan. Uh, I'm just gonna order some carrots. Go upstairs, tinker a bit. Rio, on the Rio, line. look, look what he's giving Todd for the carrots. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Sure. Okay. How many cats do you want, uh, yeah. Kushiban friend? Give me four. Okay, that will be uh five credits. All right, give him five credits. Thank you. Now off you go. Beep. Go off. Beep, beep, beep. 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 Be
Yeah, you, you can take yeah, the you are parts, the, the busted oh, yeah. scomp plank, the stem launcher. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 do you want to, like, beep. a tinker? Which one do you want to tinker with? Like, the stem launcher is, like, you know, if you give that onto ice, ice, like, BP, BP can do long range healing. Beep! It's like a shotgun, but for, <laughs> for, for medicine. <laughs> yes, it is a shotgun, but for medicine. And then there is the scomp link, which would be used for hacking doors and whatnot. <gasps> oh, that'd be perfect. I'm probably going to focus on the scomp link then. Beep beep. Because that's going to be pretty useful for the thing. Uh, no, I do not have that in here. There is, um, the supply store, they normally do repairs. It's run by wow. Rick. It's called Rick's Supplies and more, because he does have quite a lot of things in there. Like some weapons, he even has a, maybe... I'm pretty sure I saw him have a droid for sale a while back, like a week ago. Alright. Yeah, he had a, like a, a, C, a CP model, you know, a human relations model, I think. No. Ooh, yeah, he had a human. He had a human's relations <laughs> model like a week back. Who knows? He might still on. have it. And yeah, I'm going to that place now. Yeah, he also I'm... has some like you know just some general supplies like medicine and whatnot. I I would like to go there now, please. No, uh, I don't know what's going on. I'll take the robot apart and give him whatever is useful to you. We can do all of this stuff after we complete the mission. Oh my god, Bobo. <laughs> Human relations bot does not mean sex robot. It's called that is because it, they're, like C-3PO is a human relations bot because they have programmed every language in the entire galaxy in them. So they're used as like political for, for political reation, relations when language barriers okay. exist. A lot better than what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> They're basically like uh, language translators. You know how, like, po like when you're going to foreign nations, you have a language translator for politics and whatnot. No, yeah, please yeah. no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you guys gonna long rest? Or you're gonna head to Rick's. No, I no. Rick's no please. <laughs> Beep. What, what, what do I do with the parts? Beep. Beep. Oh, um, for the love of God, be... make a technology, um, technology roll, and if it's high enough, I'll, um, I will hunt you down. Sean, what the fuck, <laughs> man? I just put a beep. <laughs> okay, you you actually repair the scomp link pretty well. It's not at perfect functionality, so it can't do every door, but it can do most. Oh. Like you can do up, it can do up to like a medium tier security, but if it gets any higher than that, it can't. He can't hack it. Oh, Tico, your your droid's going crazy. Beep. Beep 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 beep. Right. Talking to Todd now. I'm over in front of Todd. Whoa. Beep, beep. Okay, I. What are you actually saying? Because Todd understands binary. <laughs> oh, oh no! Hold on, I I know. Okay, okay, you're gonna encrypted message for him. Yeah. Beep. Beep, beep, beep. Ah. I'm showing the picture of the man. Oh, that fella. He comes beep. around here every uh, Wednesday. I'm, we're just going by normal like calendar days and weeks and whatnot, like months. Uh, he comes by here right. on Wednesday, brags about his job and how he's oh so rich, how he is because of his job and how it's the best thing ever. And then gets drunk and insults everyone else. So he's really <laughs> annoying. Do the rest of us see the hologram that he's projecting and like hear like. Is he he's, is Todd he's, talking back like in an encrypted message or just out loud? He's just talking. This isn't. He's just talking. So we could so we could tell who he's talking about by the hologram. If you see the hologram and you see what he's talking about, you see me there, then probably. You guys are still all arguing about like 
fucking booba cards right now. <laughs> Mom and P are like, and like Tika went into up to his room and just started tinkering. Yeah, and I'm down here actually doing. Something. Wait, no, he just started tinkering right at the table. <laughs> yeah, he got a bunch of oil and grease all over the table. <laughs> yeah, uh, you better clean that up. I... That I, we don't notice what he's doing. Then he's just. You guys are just staring. Yeah, you guys are just staring at Tiko uh, fiddling with this thing and getting like oil and all all kinds of stuff and like sparks all over the table. Hell, like he almost acts. He almost lit the table on fire. <laughs> you saw a close call, and then when you see like the close call of Tiko almost lighting the table on fire, this is when uh, BP is doing the messaging. Yeah. Don't like that guy. Always gets drunk off his ass and assaults my customers. Always brags about how rich he is from his thing. Bad guy. Uh, Rio, you're not over there. Oh, okay. He says he has like he says he has a whole like five ships, which I obviously find to be probably a fucking lie because this kid, this dude is not. I don't like this guy. I don't know much. Beep. All I know is that he goes to some fuck. He goes to this shifty, like shady repair shop down in the lower rings. I think it's called like, well, this shady repair shop. I mean, the only reason it's shady is because it's a little too high tech for some repair shop down in the outer ring. Normally, you'd see something kind of similar to that around here in the middle ring. Beep beep beep. Beep. Wait, wait, whenever. You want to see, you want to know the name? Is that what you're asking? I you want to know the name. I'm asking what today's date is. Today, oh, uh, it's <laughs> Tuesday. Uh, yeah, Tuesday. Beep. beep. And it's still mid afternoon, correct, paper? Yeah, it's like two o'clock. Beep beep. Processing. Processing. Beep 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 beep. Shh. Thank you. Yeah, he, uh, anyway, the, the, the shifty shop he goes to is, like, fucking, more, like, Moriarty's, Moriarty's Repairs or something. Beep. He writes it down on a little paper. And, like, gives it to you, little BP. Do you, like, just eat it up, like, eat it? <laughs> Yeah, like a receipt, like you know the things that Chuck E. Cheese ate through the, the ticket, the ticket tickets? reader. Yeah, that that's basically what happens. Okay. A slot just opens up. Yeah, a slot just opens up and like chest where your shotgun and everything comes out and just absorbs <laughs> it. Beep 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 beep. So you guys gonna settle down now? Like head back to the head to the but room. On my way up, on my way up, I'm gonna pass him like standing by Todd. Like, come on, DP. Gonna get, just quit being useless and come get some rest. Beep beep beep. beep. Shh. Wednesday. Beep beep. It's Tuesday. <laughs> Stupid beep, tin beep. can. Uh, I just finished. I'm just gonna walk with BP. Yes, uh, I, I you can't understand BP, Fauna. You so understand binary. Yeah, Tico and Fauna understand them. Beep 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 beep. beep. I'm basically just saying everything Paper just said, as I beep. Uh, beep 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 why do you have so many ships? You got rants at them, motherfucker. Hey, wait. Knock, knock, you just hear this. You just hear Tico look at, look at BP Avi like, Why does that fucker have so many ships? I'm gonna ransack that bitch. Uh, paper, First you... Ball, wrong galactic made terms. I made an incorrect statement. He didn't say I'm gonna ransack that bitch. He said I'm gonna ransack that motherfucker. So, you know, correct yourself. Whatever. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Beeps in agreement. Uh, beep, uh, uh, beep. One room stay, one night stay. Beep, 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 beep. Intimidation. Beep, 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 beep. Slave. Beep, beep. Oh, Alright, got it. Oh. Tra translate all of that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Every Wednesday, what? Can't pick up a couple words. I, when I say something in actual English, yeah, I'm, I'm just saying it like in a speaker system. Guys, I'm just going to thoroughly explain to them what BT said. Uh, so you explain it to Rio uh, and uh, Knock Knock about... Yeah, oh, Todd wait, doesn't really. know anything about the gang. No, Todd is... Well, You're saying well, we were trying to prevent Tico from burning the place down. Who got us a location? Yes. Beep. Beep. I'm sorry about anything I ever said to you. <laughs> Beep. 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 You're a genius. I'm, I'm just gonna like grab him and just like. Oh, right, no, I, I'm just gonna like pat him on the head gently, like. Good job. Beep. Beep. Oh. If you did grab it, I'll just straight up just going to shoot you. Go ahead. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Put my gun yeah. away. Well, looks like we've got a lead. Beep. Yes, I'm going to go install this part. So, beep. beep. You know what? What? We have a location. We also know where he's in where the lieutenant's going to be tomorrow. So we gotta follow one of those leads. You can like scout out the location at night when you guys long missed. He gets. I think, you know what? We'll figure that out in the morning. We'll probably just or you can go head, to the location. Like you can head to like it's Rick's. Uh, you, you're sleeping till like you. You're just gonna sleep till tomorrow. Get a long rest, like no, a long till, rest in, not, or like later night. Well, not till tomorrow. Just like. We're gonna wake up at night and like start yeah, so doing I, I, I say if you guys long rest, you'd probably wake up like eleven ish. Let's see, it's around four, correct? It's like three so like, thirty ish, probably. Yes, yeah, so like it's like eleven thirty. Right. Um, well, All right, everybody, hard. get to bed and start resting up. Got a lot of work to do. Any of you guys gonna visit uh Rick's repair and supply? Sure. Yeah, like you guys want to do that now before you rest, because it'd be odd if you guys sure. showed up at, like fucking ten o'clock at night. Sure. Um, Fano, Tico, we can go. Yes. And you see. I'll head over with you. As you enter, like you guys, you guys. Just wandering down the street, and you can see like a neon sign, uh, like a couple blocks down, saying "Rick's Repair and Supply." Pretty big sign, flashing blue light. So you guys know where to go. Uh, All right, go. Yeah, sure. I, uh, BP. Oh, let's go, Gungan. As you guys enter, there's like a little All right, jingle. Now. All right, we're still in. There. Dragon, we're, just, we're not going now. You can say the plan later. Yeah. As you guys head to Rick's, Rick's Repair and Supply, you enter and there's a little ding ding, like a little jingle bell, like a little jingle. <laughs> and then, if you would look, like, right to the right, like, a couple feet away from the entrance, there is a human relations droid. Just standing there, depowered. Looks like. Don't mind, don't mind my beeps. Cover BP scanner. <laughs> anyway, uh, you see, uh, look, what looks to be like a blue-haired, like skinny man behind the counter. He's like, "Hi." I'm Rick. Just kidding. He's not like that. He's no. like, hey, yeah, this is me, give Rick. Him, no, give him a stoner oh. voice. Stoner voice. Stoner voice. Okay, stoner voice. Hey, guys. It's me, Rick, owner of the supply store. I'm yeah, hey. the best at what I do. Nice. Uh, oh, hi, you, Rick. You see that C1? Yeah. You see that CPO1 back there? Yep. Yeah. That's a human relations bot. Knows everything, every language in the in the galaxy. Ah, uh, interesting. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna make him normal. Whatever. That that robot knows every language in the galaxy. 
it's currently on sale for a low, low price of 2,000 credits. That's a bit much, my guy. <laughs> you think that's much? Oh, yeah. you do not know. That is spare parts, my friend. Oh, yeah. I see. I mean, it's the thing. Oh, what do you have there? It has, gonna... It's basically like an empty frame. Only has the language centers, all like the knowledge and then like some basic history and understanding of the world. Of the, how, right. Understanding of really the world. Really want to make Really want to make DPs smarter. Like, so what you, know, you people here for? I got stems, medical supplies, camping supplies. Hell, I even got some like mobile camp setups to protect you from this rain. It's quite expensive though, cause shielding is pretty uh, big deal. Just... Beep. Everybody, throw one. Do so I have any, so have any weapons? I I have a couple vibro blades, some blasters. Even have, yes. some, uh, even have this cool light dagger, and he like pulls out a hilt, like a small, like it looks like a knife hilt, flicks a switch, and you hear a vroom, like vroom, 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 vroom. like he just swings it around, it just vroom, 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 vroom. beep, 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 warning, beep, beep, and then he yeah, sets it down. This little baby is on well. I have quite a lot of them, so I'd probably sell this thing, this little sucker, for about a thousand. DP, that's expensive. Or that's a bit of, it's in our price range, but... It's not a lightsaber, it's a light knife. There's other weapons made out of light, but lightsabers... They're, no, no, they're not nearly as powerful as lightsabers, though. Like, they can cut and whatnot, but they're not as good as lightsabers. Right, fine, I'll get your whatever it is you want to come here for. You're the one who asked first. So you, lady, Fauna, I guess, are you here for something? Need me to repair something? Or here to buy? Because I got stims, if you need, like, I got medical supplies, I got stims, I got back to pads. I got, you know, shields for the rain. Like, I, I, hell, I even got some of the, the super umbrellas, basically. A weird little thing. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Also, but you're forgetting you have just a, a Mandalorian helmet on at all times. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so you just jump up and like your masked face is in his face, and you just like he can hear audible sniff sounds, and then you just jump back. Yep. Uh, that was, Ooh, that was the irony of it. <laughs> you want some kit. simple repair skills? Uh, kit probably be about simple repair kit probably be about two hundred credits, hundred credits. Depends. Which kind of which quality do you want? You want a hot the fuck's a booba card? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I won't question it. Uh, it's 100 for the lower end of the older tools, 250 for brand new tools, and extra. I'll throw in some like, some like polishing oils, some cloth. Sorry. Okay, 250 credits, and the whole kit's yours. Thank you very much. And he sets down like a little box. It's probably about the size, like, it's like a little toolkit box. So, about the size. About the size of a keyboard, really. So, it's, it's actually quite big. But it's only one layer, so all of the stuff is in there. And he hands you to it. He hands it to you. You give him the credits. You committed to purchase. So, anything else, y'all? You people won't. 
Uh, yeah, let me just go look around the shop, see if there are anything cheaper robot or robot parts. Robot parts, eh? What are you looking for? I see you have a Troid right there. Yeah. What you you have... Beep, or... beep. Yeah, what is it, BP? Beep, beep. Yeah, all right. I so what did you just say? I just, said I just said beep. I'm just beeping with actual, no actual intentions. I'm just gonna make sure we're just gonna do that. When I beep, uh, if I if I ever beep randomly, like there's no context, I'm just beeping for beep's sake. Beeping I'll let you know if I'm. I'll let you know if I'm beeping for purpose. I'm, you will I'm, know. Now I'm, I'm gonna use the term for beep's sake. <laughs> beep. beep. <laughs> All right, got it. Uh, if I'm correct, the the, the light dagger is thousand, right? Uh, the what? The um, light dagger thing. Oh, the light dagger. Yeah, it's thousand. Yeah. So you, right. you want to buy the light dagger? If... Are are you just if... gonna like give Droid the light dagger as a weapon? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I I gave him a shotgun. <laughs> I, 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 you, you're packing some firepower in that in that little drawer right there. I mean, tell you what, if you if you, if you if you uh come across any spare parts and you want to sell them to me, I'll probably take them for a fair bit of credit. Alright, I'm gonna go to my bag. See what I have. You have a stem launcher, a repaired scomp link, a repaired stem launcher. Gonna... Does they... she have the old like retina scanner yeah, that yeah. he upgraded? You have from a DP? retina scanner that's pretty up there in quality. Mm. It's like right, mid tier quality. You're just gonna set it all on the I'm table. Sell the retina scanner. So the retina scanner. Ah, uh, well, he's examining it. Probably like I'd say this would be like a, probably like low and middle tier. Retina scanner, and yeah, it'll fetch you a fair bit. Yeah, probably about a hundred credits. Yeah, uh, sure. Hundred credits. I'm gonna really decide if he's trying to trick me. He's not trying to trick you. All right. Uh, sure. Uh, okay. Just... He hands you the credits. Thank you. Booba, booba cards, get it right. <sighs> Credits. <laughs> uh, anyways, seems like there isn't much I could actually get that are this in my price range other than the dagger. I have enough for that. And I forgot the robots have 2000, right? Yeah, you can get the droid actually. I, I can. Do you want to? Good. Beep it beeps a disagreement with like such large disagreement that you can feel bloodlust almost. Yeah, I'm probably just gonna take out out for parts to install the new the stuff into you. So ba basically, okay, he said it's like it's literally the only things in it is like knowledge of the current world, like political political landscape, like of every language and the ability. Basically, if you're installed the parts into BP, he would ha have to now have the ability to speak in every single language. <laughs> no, see that's where you're wrong. I then mean BP could talk. We can talk. I just beep. I can but show I you holograms. I don't understand you. I can show you holograms. You could show me a hologram of a monkey talking uh, in Argentina. I'll, I'll probably come back later and find a robot. So, are you like... gonna buy the light dagger or no? Yes, where am I will to get the light dagger for him? Okay, what? you get the light dagger and that does. Hold up. I actually gotta go to the thing. I, I know the vibro dagger stats. I can just give you that. It's light dagger. It's want to do. different. Is so it gonna be like a little bit stronger? Yeah, it's, the, it's stronger. Hold up, I gotta go down. It does uh, D8 energy damage. D8. 
Alright. Well, actually, that's D6. Lightsabers are kind of weak. Yeah, lightsabers are actually really weak in this uh, thing we're using, so I'm gonna, like, up it, so they're not, like, stupidly weak. They only do a D6. That's fucking ridiculous. That's dumb. I'm actually looking at that. That's really bad. Yeah, the, the light, the, the light dagger, the light dagger will do um, a d6 damage. The lightsaber is probably just gonna do like a d12 or something, so pretty decent. Really good, actually. They do have uh great sabers. Anyway, that's all your purchases. You guys gonna head out? Yeah. Uh, right. Wait, actually, uh, I before I go, uh, that or. Do you have any, like, uh, modifications for blasters? Uh, I got Nothing a, that could be used. I got some scopes. Oh, that's perfect. That's a I, 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 was think, I think I might have, like, um, a capacitor. Hmm. How much are the scopes? What kind of scope are you looking for? I have a red dot. So, in like a long range scope. Hmm. Well, this weapon can only shoot so far. It's not exactly a sniper rifle, so I think I'll go with the red dot. Blasters have range? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. This do. one's 100, 400. So oh, I can yeah. shoot a hundred yeah. feet or four hundred feet with this advantage. Well, uh, this red dot's probably I'd say probably like seventy five credits. Uh, and has a hundred, four hundred. <laughs> Which guy? How you about? Oh, I guess I can do seventy five. Okay. Yeah, you get he give him the credits. He gives you the scope to the red dot. That just means. Right. Like you can aim down now. Like you, like, you can like aim down sight. Like you can use your bonus action to like aim down sight, and then that give you advantage on a shot. Pretty much that's how I'm working scopes. Um, you use your much, bonus action to like range? aim down. Okay. Okay. So I, I lose a bonus action, gain advantage. Seems like a fair trade. Mm -hmm. So and you can't like if you have like a shield like a basically equivalent of a shield spell you can't like uh pop it if you get attacked. What did you say, Bubba? Right. Did he say how much the long range one cost? Uh, you, you no, he did not. Dang it. Okay. Okay, Rio's gonna put his um plaster carb on the table and he's gonna say, "Run to pay." <laughs> <laughs> you, okay, I'll take it. You want the long range scope, friend, little friend? Uh huh. Friendly pay. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, uh, <laughs> Fauna <laughs> is volunteering to pay. Fauna's saying, I'll pay for real. Friendly pay. <laughs> so, so basically, uh, you get the long range. That was actually 125. Now I have long range. You have a long range scope, and well, that gives you it. So basically, what the long range scope does, you can now shoot to the max range. But if you go past your like minimum range, which is like your normal range to get just normal, if you go okay, basically, if you're to shoot six farther than sixty feet, it'd be at disadvantage. But now, if you're to shoot, you can shoot up to two hundred forty. Uh, feed without with disadvantage. without disadvantage. Oh, is it also cool. the same as the other one where if I aim then it's advantage or no? Or is it just when I aim I get more range? When you oh, that's yeah, kill that's me. how it works. <laughs> you aim, you get more, you get advantage, but you okay. lose any like bonus action things you can do. Switch. I think everything in my room is trying to kill me. That's how it always feels at night. Anyway, so you guys uh, oh. leaving the shop now, or are you still doing something? Oh, does anyone else want to buy anything? I can make it out here. Oh, sorry. I don't know. Hey, Hold on. I got to Yelling something. at inanimate objects doesn't actually make them stop working. 
So well, you so you can afford that. That's like um thousand credits right there. Uh, so, Ash, do you buy it now? Okay, if you've subtracted the, the, the monies, uh, you have the light dagger now. <laughs> oh, no, knock is paying for it. Uh -uh. Oh, I am not buying you a light dagger, Fauna. Wait, Rio, I don't think Fauna even has the strength to carry you. Why? You don't think. I got him. Of course. I can cure you, but I have a 17 strength. Oh, are you strong? Well, I don't really care if she's strong enough. I did it anyway. Okay, so you didn't buy the thing. Okay, whatever. You guys gonna... Nope. You, guys exit, you guys exiting the shop? Okay, so you're gonna return back to the inn or whatever and Beep. sleep? Yep, I'm probably going yeah. to sleep. Should we, should we do a little bit of like nighttime recon on that location? What's, or should what's we the, what's have a little time? like chat with our friend? Rio's already asleep. <laughs> okay, well, I guess we'll figure that out when we wake up tonight. Well, wait, what time is it right now, Paper? Right now, it's probably it's like probably like four or something. Yeah, okay, so we so can So if all... you sleep for eight hours, it'll be like twelve when you go out to go scout. Yes, definitely. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, beep, right. beep, 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 So you guys just leaving and heading back and just gonna long rest till night, pretty much. Sorry, before a long rest, can I steal the uh, key card thing? Can you card what? Thing. The uh, hack and the... oh, install <laughs> the scomp link. Yes. Yeah, you can install it. Uh, roll me a technology check to see if you're successful. Crit right. fail. Crit fail. Crit fail. Crit fail. Wow. You fail. You can try again. <sighs> All right. Yep. Can, B can BP help you? Yep. Uh, BP can try and help you, so you get the next one at advantage. Final try. Beep 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 beep. <laughs> advantage. Oh, that's twelve. You <laughs> just. After trying and trying and actually we accidentally lit BP on fire. Beep! You finally like you just barely get it on, and it is no longer a medium tiered scomp link. It is now a low tier scomp link. Oh, God damn it! That sucks. So you can just hack in some like your your standard civilian doors and whatnot. I think that would that would have been useful. I mean, yeah, you can been. break into most shops with that, like hack through it. Oh, oh, oh try to fix that later. Most doors you would encounter, not not like on like military things or like law enforcement doesn't have like what securities. Is, what is it called? Scomp link. Can you like? I'll type it. Type that at home. Please do. That's a fun to say. It's gone. Yeah, it's you know that little like thing that pops out of R two D 2s like 
like a chest and where he like inputs it into the 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 main like desk when they're when they're basically when they're invading the Death Star and RTD2 hacks the Death Star system with the little stick that pops out of his chest. That's a scomp mm. link. Alrighty. Uh I guess we're I guess so the plan is we're all heading back to the inn and go sleep, have a long rest. Great. Uh huh. Beep. Mm. Alright, Dragon, you know you know what the plan is. You, yep. you know what to do. Uh, I'm gonna leave and rejoin BC real quick. Okay. Hopefully the dagger isn't that, that much of a failure. Oh, you got the dagger? Yeah. Yeah, he oh, got the light dagger. I stopped paying attention at some point and my brain turned off. I know. <laughs> oh, okay, hold on, everyone's going. Alright. That's so really just... technology to install the dagger. Well, Wait, did you edit your uh, credits? Because you should not have as much as you do. I should have 2,000. Yeah, you should have 2,000. There you go. Perfect. Yeah, uh, yeah. Three technology checks. We'll see if you're successful or not. No, you, yeah, right. I was helping him. Not, I was helping him. Okay, you're helping him. Okay, whatever then. Uh, You <laughs> install it perfectly. So right now, he has, like, he can just pop out a little light dagger and like shank someone pretty much <laughs> ah, uh what's its damage wait are uh, you it's, it's a, light it's a, dagger at close range or shotgun it's a d6 of energy damage who knows is it, you might come against the weakest opponent in all of the game and have them be weak against energy. You is can, it a you, dex? You can, yes, dex. You can use the dagger to cut through uh, light metal sheets. Like, basically anything that's not, like, you can cut through it as long as it's not bigger than, like, the dagger. So the dagger is, like, I, maybe, like, an 8-inch blade. So basically, you can cut through like you know standard doors, pretty much. Not like reinforced doors, but you can like laser your way through doors and windows, like super spy style. By the end of this, he's going to be like basically pain bot. Pain bot. Pain. I'm just All testing it out. Don't pain. worry. I'm just like All showing All I know it. is pain. All I know like, is wait, pain. Yeah. 20 weapons coming out of him. So the D6. D6, yeah. Alrighty. Uh, I, I was just testing it out. Seeing so right, now, seeing. Was the... it's the middle of the night, and it's almost... If if you didn't have these artificial lights in the city, you would not see anything. And the rain and hail is still beating down strong. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. So what do you guys do? I, uh, I'm waking up, and I'm waking up everybody else. Okay, as BP, how do you wake everyone up? Do you just beep? That's just going over right. every time I travel through. I assume I'm, I'm the first one to get waked up. Yeah, because you're in the same room, and like, yeah. Basically, uh, BP only needs to rest for like. I'd say half time because he's a droid, so like four hours. Like kind of how elves just need to meditate for four hours and then bam. Yeah. Actually, it's three hours. It's actually, actually, an ability that he has. Yeah, he can do it for. Three I have hours maintenance mode for three hours, which is what I can do instead of sleeping. So I guess I can do his. Actually, hold up. We're gonna have to pause here for a second because Bobo doesn't he only mm -hmm. needs only needs to sleep for like four hours because monkey. Ah. Same and as he, me. Exactly. He planned to go scouting. Let's see how that goes out. Actually, I also sleep for three hours, so I'm just gonna follow him. You're gonna like sure, try I'm, and like I'm stealthily. Not, not like, well, I'm kind of like I'm kind of like leaving through the window, going on the roof. So I don't think you can follow me very yeah, well. Yeah, you don't. Okay, you, you don't even notice he's there because yep. Oh. Actually, roll a stealth. Or perception. I guess. No. Uh, oh, Rio, roll a stealth, and then BP. This is gonna be your oh, passive whoops. perception. Which is oh, no, eleven. He slips away. Yeah, he slips away. Yeah, you have a plus three this time. You don't notice, so uh Rio, you're on the roof. What are you gonna do? I'm just gonna go uh I know where it is, right? 
You know the general location. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna go rooftop to rooftop until I find it, and okay, I'm like, just gonna stake it out. You're in right, the that. outer ring right now. Just hop in rooftop to rooftop, and you see a small, like you see a little like neon sign that says "Mariety's Repairs." And okay, um, what you gonna do? I'm just gonna stake it out until I see. I'm gonna wait. And if I see someone shady, I'm just going to wait until I see anyone enter or exit shady. Okay, it seems all fine. And then, how long are you staying here? Um, what right, time is it? Right, it's, I'd say it's probably like, it's like eight, eight something, almost nine. Um, through... Two and a half hours. Okay, so once it hits around the, the ten, well, around ten o'clock, uh, right when you're getting ready to to leave soon, uh, you see, you know, you closed like maybe thirty minutes ago. You started closing up shop, and okay. he's now closed. However, what you see is some person wearing a hood for some reason, and like pretty much robes, trying to be. Trying to be stealthy, but standing out horribly because everyone else is wearing rags and little to nothing. And this dude's walking around in like full robes, hood over his face. He knocks on the door three times in a little pattern. Well, he does a little pattern, so I'm just gonna like. No, I can't do that, son of wood. Okay. Something like that, if you heard that. I didn't, but okay. I get, I get the gist. You hear that one? Sort of? A little bit. A little bit, whatever. It's just dun, dun, da, dun, oh. dun. Okay. Anyway. A second. Paper, you realize that thing's the knock from Do You Want It to the Snowman? No. Stop. It's ice, not... ice, dark done, stuff. Done, done. What? Why, why am I stopping? I don't know. I just said the wrong name. Whatever. Anyway, uh, you see this weird hooded person like knock on the door like six times, and this little pattern, and then you see the shop owner, the guy who put the clothes end up, like try and like sneakily open the door. And he runs in, instantly closes it, locks it back up, sneaks in. Okay. Um, are there windows on the shop? There is like two windows, and that's it. And I hop down and attempt to look through the window, just peek, barely peek. So you're gonna like crawl up and like look through the front window because that's all is there. Yeah, but I'm gonna stay out of sight. Roll a stealth check. Yeah. Then. Roll a stealth again. At advantage, I'd say. I think I'm at advantage. So, 24 and like, you're able to see, like, the guy in the, the shop owner and the hood guy interacting. And then he pulls out a card and walks up to a wall and flashes the card in front of the wall. And, like, there's a light that comes in and looks like it scans in. And suddenly that wall opens and leads to what looks like a staircase going down to a room or something. You don't know what it could be. Okay. Oh god. Um, I'm gonna go back on my rooftop and wait for him to leave. Uh, it. You wait for an hour, and it's like about to be the time everyone's gonna start waking up, and you didn't. You have not seen him leave once. It's been like an hour and a half. Ooh. Okay, I'm gonna get my wrist pad. I'm gonna I'm gonna message Dragon. My broken with my broken galactic standard. Everything that I saw. Okay, so basically Tika, when you wake up, you see on your on your wrist pad you have some notifications coming from Rio. It basically says Hood Man, go in <laughs> shop. He go in. Door. Weird door. 
<laughs> he no reappear. And then that's Just... all you see on your. You get a notification like when you're like waking up, when you're woken up by BP with its alarm. You wake up and you look down at your wrist pad because you, you see notifications. You got messaged oh. by Rio. This could get up people will try to scratch my head. Look at BP. So, all right, BP. Okay. Shut up. Wrist pads are basically like we're working. Wrist pads is basically like smartphones, pretty much. All right. Um, can I also tell them to meet on roof? Meet on roof is like that's your last message you got, Rio. Yeah. See, uh, this this message is pretty recent, like ten minutes ago. Questions. Where's fuck the roof where he's talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I just text back. What fuck the roof are you talking about? Uh. Um. You get the notification, Rio. What'd you do? Um. Outside shop. <laughs> Just look at BP. Beep. Look back at my wrist. What shop? Beep 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 beep. Alarm. Beep. Beep. How do you respond? Did you just start beatboxing? <laughs> what did he say? He said which, uh, Tico sent back a reply saying, which shop? Um, JD shop. <laughs> okay. No, bad shop. I say bad shop. Okay, you, Tico, you get a reply saying bad shop. Can I just share my location? Is there like a, a GPS, <laughs> GPS feature? Pretty much. You gotta just like ping your, like send your location, I guess. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. I mean, it's literally Star Wars, like, futuristic past. You get a location on your map, and it looks like to be in the Outer Ring. Probably like a shop in the Outer Ring or something to you. Seems like he went pretty far. But and if you remember, cor you remember correctly from uh, BP talking to you, there was a shop in the Outer Ring that seemed to be pretty shady. Yeah, God, I think he's going to get himself killed. Opa beep beep. This is gonna text back. Alright. Alright, bring friends. I'm waking everybody Rio, up. Yeah, you get a reply <laughs> saying, Should I bring friends? Also, everyone else, you're now woken up. Alright, so we're gonna reply, Yes, all friends. Yes, all friends. All right. friends. We have business to do. Why, who are you texting? Beep beep. Is that a girlfriend? Beep. No. It's not me. Oh, no, no, I'm testing the fucking monkey. <laughs> Seems like he's... What the, what the fuck is a monkey? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I, I've been to a lot of places, seen a lot of things. <laughs> this is a place right. called Earth. It's a nightmare. There's like a virus and whatnot. The people there are just absolutely <laughs> nightmare. Listen, you're in a galaxy far, <laughs> far of play in a time long ago. Basically, to put it in your terms, you're way in the past. Somewhere else. <laughs> Those words were too smart for them. <laughs> uh... uh. Uh, don't don't right. question it. Anyways. Where's... Wait a second. That's what's different. There was nobody jumping on my shoulders this morning. <laughs> no shit, you fucking idiot. I just threw a wrench at his head. You throw a wrench at his head, okay. Uh, knock, knock, make a dexterity check. You know, knock, knock. Uh, you dodge out of the... Wait, you just, instead you of just dodging, dodge can it. I catch it and full counter that bitch? <laughs> you catch <laughs> it and throw it right back at him. Uh, Tico... Full counter! Make it dexterity. Uh, <laughs> is this just gonna be dodgeball <laughs> until somebody misses? 
Did you just say you're gonna go right back at him? Who has him and no has balls? Now you throw it at his balls. Make a dexterity check. Knock, knock. You get hit in the chin by the wrench. No, you're not here. Actually, I assume he has his friend since he senses when his friend gets home. I immediately am completely woken up. <laughs> okay, you guys gonna head to the shop? Yes. Oh, or... oh, okay. The trap letter. As go. the party leaves the Silver Spirit. I'm just gonna sneakily go. Oh, hold up. Oh, Let's, by the uh, way, paper. Just kidding. I've been trying to fix that thing forever. Oh, you've been trying to fix it. Uh, roll, me a couple, roll me three technology checks. Let's see if you repair this. Natural one, you instantly get two fit. Roll me okay. one more. <sighs> okay, um, as you're tinkering with it, your first Damn. tinker, you almost instantly shatter the hilt, but you, in the second, you're barely able to repair the hilt. And in the third, and the third test, you're able to repair it to a semi-functional state, but it's still weaker than it should be. It's basically at like half power when you're repairing it. Yeah, if you repair a lightsaber, could be a bomb. I just need you hear you hear your mumbling saying, "I just need one more thing, then it's complete." I don't know. I feel, like it's, it's okay. I feel like it's a bomb to blow up the galaxy. Oh my god! Bonner is a spy. She's gonna blow us all up. She's a suicide <laughs> bomber. Oh my god! Bomber. <laughs> I got that down. <laughs> What? Anyway, as the group, or the other group, heads out of the Silver Spirit Snake to meet up with Rio, we will end the session here. Bum, bum, bum. To be continued next time, they will enter into the shop in it. Well, at least maybe. Who knows what happens? Whatever happens, happens maybe anyway. We'll... Maybe they'll all die. Next time on maybe... Gunkin Ball Z. Maybe they'll all die. Find out next time on Star maybe. Wars D and D. Guaranteed, shotguns gonna hit somebody. Anyway, Who is going to hit? God knows. It's this is Paper, me. back alley of the Shadow Celestials, signing off. Bye. 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 Bye.